what's up beautiful people it's your boy gdo and i'm back again with a new video today we're going to be checking out another video from life in yakutia and this one is titled how we do farming in extremely cold climate this is going to be my first time checking this one out but the title kind of seems interesting because your first thought would be how do you farm in minus 71 degrees so they're they're about to show us you know without wasting your time let's get to it Hi everyone, welcome to Life in Ikutia channel. My name is Maria and today I want to tell you about how Maria. do we keep our cows in winter in Yakutia. Oh, livestock farming. <laughs> My parents have a small farm and today I want to show you how do they feed water and how do they take care of their animals. For some reason it's I was thinking vegetables. Um, I think it's around 35 degrees. 32, 32 degrees Celsius. And it's... Uh, did you hear what she said? She said it's not very cold today but it's about minus 32 degrees. <laughs> But it's not very cold. Like, yeah, they've just elevated to a different level. Like, her body has been trained. Now, minus 32 is not really cold for her. I'm going to tell Maria that minus 32 is really cold for me. <laughs> Actually, not that cold. See? This winter, it used to be like negative 55, negative 57. It was very, it's actually very cold even for us. Mm. And now it's it's sunny, it's warm, and warm. yeah, we are very happy, and our animals also very happy that it got warmer. So let's go and see. Mm. These are our clothes for working outside. It's not for walking or going to the shop. It's only for the. For uh, hot on the cow oh, shit. house. <laughs> I will check the English name later. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I want to show you the work that my parents do every day, no matter what temperature is outside, negative 57 or negative 30. This is a part of their daily routine. This is our hot on or cow shed. It was built in traditional way. My father built it with his brothers almost 30 years ago. Mm. The first thing that we are going to do today is that we need to water our animals. We let them go outside and walk a little bit before they go to drink water from the lake. Our animals drink water from the lake, which is near our house. It's located in 50 meters. The lake is frozen during winter. That's why my father needs to make a hole in the ice so animals can drink water from it. Is the water not too cold for the animals? This is an ice hole that our animals drink water from. During a night, the hole freezes. That's why my father needs to make a hole again every, every day. Morning. The thickness of ice in the hole is around 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters, quite thick. Our winters are long, more than six months a year. My father makes absolutely new hole once a month. This winter, six months a year. Month, because water in the hole gets dirty. How many now seasons? Now my father hits the Four ice seasons. at the side of the hole. Six because it freezes from the walls to the middle. Father is removing the crushed pieces of ice from the hole to make it easier for animals to drink water from it. The whole process of making a hole takes from 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. 
So how do the animals know to get to that particular area to drink from? Cows know exactly where to go to drink water. We yeah. don't need to make them go or come back to the cow shed. They go drink water and come back to the cow shed by themselves. Wow. During the coldest days our cows wear a special warm bra for the udder to protect it from freezing. Hmm. At this moment my camera started to work not really well. That's why I needed to stop and continue on the other day. While cows are drinking water, my father cleans the cow shed from manure. He takes it out. Oh, so that's all manure right there. This, I'm guessing they sell the money or two. Manure is a very good natural fertilizer. Father makes piles of manure and leave it to freeze. In spring, before tillage, he will give this manure to people who don't have cows, but who plant vegetables. It's very important to fertilize soil before you plant anything. And the last thing to do is to give hay to the animals. Our cows need hay for 9 months a year. It means that during our short summers we need to harvest much grass. Harvesting is probably our the most important work during a year. My parents give hay to the cows three times a day, in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. Hmm. Now my father is preparing the hay for the dinner of the cows. <laughs> but it's a real cool dinner for the cows, I like how she called it. The hay of my father has a very good smell and its quality is very high. I know it because our milk is very delicious. <laughs> the grass grows at special type She's of advertising them now. Field, <laughs> this kind of field exists only in Yakutia. It's formed by repeated melting and refreezing of permafrost. That's it for today. Thanks mm -hmm. to all of these wonderful people that support me on PayPal and of course to my dear patrons. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Wow. That was another very good video from Life in Yakutia. When it started I thought it was going to be vegetable farming or plants farming, but it was livestock farming. Yeah, I, it's not much harder. I don't think it's much harder than actually taking care of a, um, a livestock farm even in a, in a hotter climate. I think it was almost the same or maybe they've just gotten used to the process that it felt like normal to them but yeah let me know what you think of it if you want us to bring more videos from life in Yakutia feel free to let me know which ones you want to see this is the end of this one don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel I'll see you on the next one have a wonderful day peace